Oh, you're already here, Blake? You usually don't come till... <laughs> Sorry, I thought you were someone else. No one else but Blake really comes here. Hey, why are you laughing? <sighs> that Blake, they always do this stuff like this. Send someone else in when I'm expecting them and having myself in bears, although I don't think I've ever seen you in the student council. Oh, you're new here? Well, um, I'm Alex. I'm the library assistant here. So if you need to check out any books, you can do it with me. Yeah, <laughs> nice to meet you too. This is so awkward. What? No, I didn't say anything. <laughs> so, where are you from? Oh, really? My mom is actually from that area. It's a little south from here. Sorry, I'm really bad at small talk. <laughs> Why did I become the library assistant? Well, it gave me a good chance to read and study. This place is nice and quiet, since there's very rarely ever people here. It pays off for now, since I'm currently the valedictorian. Out of curiosity, how are your grades? I imagine they're pretty good, since you're voluntarily coming to the library on the first day of school. Oh, another smart kid in the school. Maybe I'll have some competition for valedictorian, or... No, no, no. I'm not really looking for a rival. Maybe in instead we could study together one day. It's always nice to bounce thoughts off to another. Um, so, do you want to study together? You do? Alright. Uh, do you want to start right now, or do you want to meet here after school? Alright, I guess I'll meet you here after school. <laughs> That's the bell. We should better be going to class. You don't want to be late on your first day. You know where your classes is, right? I figure Blake gave you a tour, but if you need... Oh, you know where it is. That's good. That's good. Well, I guess I'll see you after school in the library. Yeah? See you later. Oh, hey there! You actually came. What? No, I didn't say anything. Uh, let's, let's get started. I would ask you what your best subjects are, but we have a quiz next week in physics, so I recommend we start with that. Make sure you know everything we've been taught. The quiz is going to be over vectors. Have you learned those yet? You learned a little. Well, I guess we could start there. Here, let's try this practice question. So, we have a man who weighs 75 kilograms riding an elevator while on a scale. If the scale reads 850 neutrons of force, at what rate is the elevator accelerating upwards? You didn't learn that yet. Okay, well, let me walk through it. For the question, like this, is the best to draw your forces first. In this case, we have a force of gravity pulling down, the elevator pulling up. Since the man is accelerating faster, draw a line a little longer. Does that make sense? <laughs> All right, good. So we know the total force acting on him is different between the force pushing him upwards and the force of gravity pulling him downwards. So we could plug that into the equation of force equals mass times acceleration. We can set the equation as the force 
of the elevator minus the force of gravity equals mass times acceleration. Still following here? All right, so we could plug it into what we know. We know the force is pulling upwards is 850 neutrons. So we could put that into the equation. We don't know the force of gravity, but we could solve it by multiplying the man's weight, 75 kilograms, and multiplying it by the acceleration causing the gravity, which is 9.8 meters per second squared. Now that we have those two numbers, we subtract the result of 750 times 9.8 from 800. Now we just need to solve for the acceleration. All we have to do from there is to divide the mass, once again being 75 from both sides of the equation that isolates the acceleration on one side of the equation. So what do we get out of that? Don't worry, you can use a calculator. The teacher allows them during the quizzes and tests. You got 1.5333 threes <laughs> continued forever. Yeah, that's correct. You only need the 1.5. That's all the teacher ever puts on the quizzes. Do you think you could work through the next problem by yourself? Okay then, you work through a few of these. I'm going to pull out my notes so we figure out what you know and don't know. Okay, now, where is my notebook? <laughs> Here it is. Oh, you have a question. What is it? Oh, yeah. For that one, there's not a vertical acceleration, the lines will be equal. Wow, we've been at it for a while. What time is it? Oh my god, I'm so sorry, I've kept you for so long. Your family must be worried. Oh, you told them that you'll be late. That's good, at least. Well, I think we should finish up for the day. You have to be getting hungry, and I'm getting hungry too. Let's get out of here and I'll lock up for the day. Yeah, I have a key to this place. The librarian gave it to me after I kept staying late here to read. <laughs> we can study here whenever we want, on, even on the weekends. I mean, only if you want to do that. I'm not going to make you study with me. Uh, oh, you will? Uh, okay, then sounds good. But we can't do it this on Saturday. I'm using the library for the day to read to the kids of the town. I did it to the last Sunday of every month. So, we won't be able to meet then, unless... Hey, why don't you come and volunteer with me? We can always use more hands. It will even count towards your volunteering requirements, so... Uh, what do you say? Want to come help me out? Oh, you will? That's... Thank you so much. I've needed a helper for a few months now, but everyone else has chosen their volunteering activities. You're a lifesaver. I was getting more kids than I could handle. Alright, so it starts on Sunday at 2 p.m., but if you can make it here closer to 1.30 so you could set up, that would be ideal. Alright, see you then. Well, I guess I'll see you the next couple days as well, but I will also be seeing you this Sunday, so yeah, see you later. Mm -hmm.